today we're going to be making this motion trail effect. So before we get started, my name is Kevin and I run a production company called Moonboy Studios. Since the beginning, we've pretty much bootstrapped everything we've done today. And with the things that we've learned, we've been able to work with clients like Nike, Adidas, Hypebeast, Puma, Beats. So if you want more, make sure you sub to the channel, give us a like because it helps us grow. And if you want even more, we have a link in the description to our school. We're going to be sharing things like VFX tutorials, editing tutorials, filmmaking tips, business tips to help you book big clients. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a solid which will serve as our background so right click down here new solid and we're gonna eyedropper around here so that's gonna be our black background and we're gonna drag that right to the bottom turn off our raw layer that was just to show you guys what we're working with but this is essentially now the shot so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of these ones and we're gonna pick this one we're gonna paste that guy right here and we're gonna make him orange so next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this and we're going to turn off this bottom layer all right and the next effect that we're going to look up i already had it there all right echo and see what we have here first thing we want to do instead of add let's go maximum boom and this number here what i found that works is point zero eight right cool and then number of echoes let's go 20 for now and as you can see we're already getting that trailing off effect um, and then next setting starting intensity let's go 0.8 okay and decay actually starting intensity let's go 0.5 and chill out a bit and then uh, decay is 0.8 so next thing is see how you got this onion skin effect and there's these sharp lines we don't want that because that kind of to be honest in my opinion looks a bit cheap the best way to do this is with a plugin called rsmb which is my favorite motion blur plugin it's honestly the best thing and it saved me so much okay next thing we're going to do is drag the rsmb effect over here and then we're gonna uh, turn on gpu so it uses my gpu so let's make it 10 and this is really gonna blur it out. There's a bit of artifacting and stuff, which isn't ideal. So let's try, let's pre-comp this. Okay. And then put the RSMB on the pre-comp. Yeah, so that's a little pro tip, okay. And motion sensitivity, let's make it a hundred. Yeah, I think that's what we needed, motion sensitivity. Okay, cool, that looks much better. So make your motion sensitivity hundred and then your motion blur amount uh yeah we'll keep it at five cool let's go back in and change the starting intensity to 0.6 let's chuck an rsmb on top of make it three and then make the opacity of this motion trail 80 percent all right that's pretty good cool so i've gone ahead and populated the scene with a bunch more dudes Alright, so that's how you do the motion trail effect. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.